The intelligentsia was ready to sacrifice or enslave individuals to achieve their utopia. Alexeyevich refers to such people as, quote, slavery romantics, slaves of utopia. One reason Marxism proved so appealing was its ambitious claim to resolve all contradictions. Think of Marx's assertion that, quote, communism is the solution of the riddle of history and knows itself to be the solution, unquote. No theory claiming much less could appeal to Russians, or if it did, it was habitually transformed into something all explanatory, a habit that Dostoevsky called the Russian aspect of Westerners' doctrines. Russian appreciation of literature has no rival. I can compare it only to the way the Hebrew Bible must have seemed when books could still be added to the canon. Pyotr Stepanovich promises, quote, a system of spying. Every member of society spies on every other, and it's his duty to inform against them, unquote. That was just what Stalin required. The boy, Pavel Morozov, was made a national hero for turning in his parents. The key principle is to be absolute equality, which requires a complete suppression of individuality or great talent. The Russian example implies we face a choice between the violent theory-based uniformity of the intelligentsia and the wise perspective on life espoused by classic Russian literature. <laughs>